am I the only one who has been letting go and letting go and letting go and some more letting go over the past number of years? It's been one deep dive into and through all the areas inside of myself that were still identified with a somebody, not with the I am that I'm finally resting in more and more. But I was still leaning into Pranilla as if she really exists, as if she's real. And I'm sure you know, if you're one of the letting go, one of the letting go crowd, that every time you meet a part of yourself and you let it go and you, or you move through it and you feel it and you allow it and you just, you know, there's this whole dance we go through as we go through these layers. And then you realize like, what the heck was that? And looking back, like, who was that? That's not who I am. And of course, the more we let go of, the more the presence and the light of who we truly are shines through. I wrote a number of poems many years ago, and I wrote one that is called I Am Willing. And I want to just share that with you because even though I wrote it many years ago, Every time I read it, it just gives me this boost of like, yeah, it's so powerful. Maybe just for me, I don't know. But I moved to share it with you today and then see how you can relate. Relate. So just take a moment and close your eyes and I'll just read it for you and just let yourself go there. Just move along with it. It's called I Am Willing. I'm willing to feel the unbearable and go to any extreme. Willing to love every part of me so I can fully wake up from this dream. I'm willing to bring my full attention to what still feels contracted in this third dimension. I'm willing to say no to the voices that used to lead me astray, willing to ignore the negativity without any further delay, willing to sharpen my sword, to carve a brand new way, filled with deep meaning, creativity, and magic childlike play. I'm willing to unplug and stop playing this game, Willing to leave it behind without fighting, resistance, or blame. And willing to stand strong when tempted with guilt and shame. I'm willing to turn all my attention to you who lives in my heart. Willing to not be liked by others as I gently let go of my part. I'm ready to enter a new state of being and open my eyes to a new way of seeing, willing to take this enormous leap as I courageously wake up from this nightmarish sleep. I'm willing to follow you only and willing to lose it all, willing to risk feeling lonely as I follow this inner call, willing to put my life on the line, let go of what I consider me and mine, and finally willing to rise out of this dimension and graciously merge into my divine ascension. Let's take a moment and just Feel how powerful that is. See if you can feel that willingness inside. 
we all say we're willing, but when it really comes to it, how willing are you? How willing am I? Do you feel like this? Yes, I'm willing. And, and it comes with an energy inside that's very powerful that actually breaks apart all these barriers that are mentioned in this poem. Or do you feel a clear no? Or maybe you feel like, yeah, but not that. <laughs> and these are all the stages we go through. It's all normal. But, you know, if it can help you just get a little closer to that yes and just let the whole darn thing go. Um, not bypassing. It's very, very different. We're not talking about bypassing here. We're talking about a feeling of willingness. And you can go back to this feeling all the time. You just feel, no, I'm willing to let that go. I, I don't want that anymore. I'm willing. I want to let that go. Because you know what you want. Because you know that there's something much more um, precious, much more alive, much more real and true that lives deep inside each one of us. And we have to be willing to let go of all that gunk, all these identities, all these emotional attachments, and we are covered in them. And it's not like once you've cleared it all that they won't be there, but they don't have that glue, that sticky glue anymore, where you, when it's still sticky and you have not done the deeper work, you, you get pulled in immediately. You just don't have that energy yet to say no. And that is something we can all work on and we all need to work on. But if you feel a spark of this yes inside of you, I'm willing, but maybe I don't know how, that's okay. That will come because when you feel that yes, I'm willing, that energy knows how. And that's the good news. So that means that we are going to go through, you know, a period of letting go and meeting all the parts of us where we're still sticky and where we still are attached, where we still have emotional reactions and we want them because, you know, it feels familiar, it might feel good. But little by little, this Yes, I'm willing to let it all go because I know what I want instead. I want this divine being that I am, this I am. And in order to get there or experience that and stay with it, it's an ongoing commitment. At least it is for me, but it's so much easier now. It's not even, it's not like a fight or strong energy. It's just like, now, oh, no, 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 we're done with that. But but it keeps coming because we live in this uh, illusory, illusory um, perception and uh, this veil we're seeing things through. And the veil is still here. But I would say that, as more of us live as I am, as our true divine identity, that energy starts dissolving this veil for ourselves and for others who are stuck in it. So it's a very, very worthy cause, very worthy calling. If you feel called to be fully free so you can be that purity and just radiate it out or oozing it out, which is my favorite expression. You can join me and become an oozer of the divine, of the light. But it does take everything and it is totally possible. There's a number of steps we need to know how to take to unhook from this veil and it gets easier and easier and easier the more we let go.
because what we let go of is basically attaching this energy that we have on this veil when we let it go this energy is liberated and then we can place it here and choose to live from there easier and easier will you join me in that i hope so thank you so much <laughs>